Welcome back guys to the video. As you guys already know, we got the biggest and baddest mystery taco box ever. There's no other like it. If you guys thought the mother load was it, know this all last year, this is brand new. Um, it's, it's a full crate, it's full of stuff. I mean, it is $200. I mean, so it's way over the mother load. The mother load does not even compare to this. But if you guys are interested in the mother load, I did make a video of it last year. I will make sure to uh, leave it in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. Um, I guess we'll get into it. I mean, so the actual price of this box is $200 and we found it at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods. If you guys want to check it out yourselves. Uh, let's see, there's another one over here. Yeah. And apparently, let's see. So apparently this contains about 32 to 40 items. So, you know, if you guys are gonna make a big purchase for lures, um, and you guys want it to be kind of like a surprise, kind of like a mystery, you guys can always get this box. And apparently the value is supposed to be around $265 worth of value. And there's limited edition fishing decals and tips to help you catch fish. There's all usual stuff with the mystery taco box. Now I do want to say I'm not sponsored by mystery taco box. This is just what I like to do for fun. But uh, no hate, no love. I know I'm just showing you the facts, you know what's in it. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get into it. So this is really cool actually. Um, it's a whole crate, like this is real wood. So it's really cool. Um, but yeah, now there's an actual box instead of here. Mm -hmm. gotta open. All right, well, it's loaded. <laughs> um, I guess uh, we'll just pick out of here and then I will do the research after I um, upload the video and tell you guys how much it's worth and to see if it's even worth getting the box and to see if it's even true that it has $265 worth of value. But um, I guess now you can pick from the box and we can go from there. First up, we got the Jabberjaw, no, the Cliff Banger. Oh, nice. We got the Cliff Banger. Cliff Banger. All right, that's it right there. What else we got? Let's see. There's gotta be a lot of stuff in this. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got we got giant swim bait. It's a professional angler Fred Rowan signature swim bait. Okay, we got giant swim bait. I'm sure they'll eat it at some lakes. Gunnersville and some uh let's see. Yeah, this is definitely this is this is a bad bad boy right there. Alright, what else we got? You got a little spinnerbait. Oh, nice. I haven't seen this brand before. Biovex. Biovex spinnerbait. What else we got? All right, so now we got a few little papers. We got Dibbles Digest. I'm pretty sure that's it. We got uh, pro tips and stuff like that. Uh, there's some, there's some information guides about some of the baits in here. For example, like the Yoda worm and the revolver. That way you guys know a little bit more about it. Let's see if there's any more. Okay, no. Next, oh, the Jabber Jaw. Oh, there's the Jabber Jaw. <laughs> yeah, I actually got one of these the other day and uh, I really like it, especially this color, Citrus Chad. You can't beat it, it's pretty good. It does very well in murky, in murky Oh yeah, murky water. water. It's, it's a good bait, I like it. This the Spin Walker. Spin Walker. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that either. I, is that uh, top water? Yeah, I've, I've, I've seen it before, but I've never, I've never used it. There's a lot of 13 fish and stuff in here, so that's, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Let's see. Oh, we got a big jerk bait. Tournament grade jerk bait. Strike Pro. That's it right there. Interesting colors. All right, what else we got? We got, we got a Guggen. Swim jig. That's similar. Isn't that the same color? Yeah, I have one just like this too. It's really nice. I like. I, I like. I like swim jigs. They'll catch fish. Oh, we got a live target shiner. Life target oh, I like shiner. Life target. Life target's a good brand. I never use this lure though. We got another Guggen plopping top water. 
Oh yeah, that's a Guggen revolver. Yeah, that's it right here. Yeah, that, it came with a little information thing right there. Yeah, the clip's getting kind of crowded. You know, we'll just... For now. We got, let's see, oh, we got a little jack slap blade. I think that'll be good during the, the winter time. Oh, nice. Dang, I've never seen that before. Yeah, and that's the cool thing about these boxes is like, there might be a lot of things that you guys have never seen before and you know, you guys could try for the first time and see if you guys like mm -hmm. it. Right, uh, got some soft plastics, the exo stick. Nice, nice. Exosticks. I mean, all all soft plastics are good in my opinion. Right, what is it? Oh, we got some liquid mayhem, some uh, shad scent. So this is actually oh. for soft plastics as well. You know, just apply a little bit of this and it's a fish attractant. You know, fish will gone longer. It's nice, it's interesting. Okay. We got the, oh, the life target. Well, it's similar to the Alabama rig. Oh yeah, but the only difference is Alabama, Alabama rig's got five hooks, it only has one. It's got the little bait ball up here, but other than that, there's only one hook right here. Mm -hmm. well, we got a lot to go through. Okay, we got a little juicy jig, five, six, five sixteenths of an ounce. I actually like the juicy jigs, they're really nice. Um, I hope all this ends up adding up to like 200 plus dollars. Well, that's kind of crazy to line them out. Oh, we got another jack slap. Almost if I put it back in here from the box. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh no, we got two yeah. of them. <laughs> yeah, we got two of them. We got two jack slaps. Are they different colors? No, they're they're literally the same ones. Yeah, they're the same ones. Yeah, same same weight and everything. Mm -hmm. One fourth. Interesting. <laughs> yes. Yeah, More soft plastics. June bug, dagger 4.5. Alright. All right. Oh, we got hoax fish. Oh, this is the brand. These are soft plastics. I, this is kind of like a Senko style bait. I've never heard of hoax fish before. I guess I'll try it out. If you guys want me to use it in the video, let me know. Another little another little jig. Soup jig, I've never heard of this. So, lifted jigs, some craw. We got other soft plastics. We got, what is this? Adrenaline Bug Junior. We got those right there. Amazing face by Carl's. Oh, the little runt. Oh, if you guys have followed me for a while, you guys have seen me use this little before. I like it. We got some more soft plastics. We got some flapping chads by Gambler. More swim baits. All right, well, I pulled out two. We got some. Some headbangers, rocker head. This is kind of like a wobble head. And then we also have the Sukashi bugs. Those are always good to use. Looks like a little lipless crankbait. Maybe it's like point two out of time, I guess. Uh, <laughs> We got some BB Cricket by Gambler. And then we also have some Z-Man, Finesse Chaz. I love Z-Man, anything Z-Man, I always like. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a uh, little poppin' frog. Gotta get that nice top water bite. Oh, nice. If you guys have also seen my other unboxings, we have gotten that same frog before, which I think is really interesting. A lot of these might repeat. Uh, let's see, we got Baz Reserve. We got a little something by them. Uh, we got Weston's Creed Crop Junebug color. I've never seen this before, but the packaging looks kind of cool with that 
golden around it. Square bill crankbait. Oh, nice. We got the little Hummer buzz bait. I've, if you guys have also seen me open these boxes before, I've also gotten one of these. I love them. They're really good. I use them all the time. More soft plastics, green pumpkin, red flake. Okay, to last stretch. Oh, we got the, the tickle tail. The Yoda worm, Yoda worm ticker tail, which is a really cool color. I've never seen this color before. Mm. Got a nice little sticker. Basmal. Is that it? Oh, so we, got, more stuff. we got one more. It's the last one. And it is a Carl's and Mason Bates spinner bait, double willow leaf. And I believe that is all. Yep, that's all that comes in it. With a sticker. Well, that's a really cool sticker, Batmobile. And what else did it have? And little instructions and stuff. But yeah, that seems to be it, guys. Honestly, when I first heard of the box and I was like, wow, $200, I was like, maybe this is a real, maybe it's a little something extra. Um, I, I like that. I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff. Um, I will make sure to put the, what they cost and like the average total. But if you guys are just looking, you know, if you guys have a big budget and, you know, you want something cool, kind of like a mystery box, I mean, this is a box for you. You guys saw, uh, there's, some, there's some quality lures in here. Like we got all the Jabberjaw and we got some of the 13 Fish and stuff, which mm -hmm. I think is, uh, I like the brand. Um, well, all right, guys, sorry for the bad transition, but this is what all the lures look like. We got everything here and we counted and it was about 30, 34 actual lures and I'm pretty sure they cut the little sticker, so that's 35. And um, yeah, it, it kind of goes with what is in the box. And here it says about 32 to 40 items, around $265 worth of value. So I will do the math later and you guys let us know if this box is worth it or if it's not or if it's trash or if it's a ripoff. Um, yeah, let us know in the comments down below. Again, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video.